Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I actually have an updated WW friend uh, WW snack friendly snacks. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about these new snacks that I've recently discovered and have been obsessed with. So I'm gonna start with my personal favorite, which is gonna be the Pitos a classic onion and these chips are actually made of peas and that sounds so incredibly disgusting because I don't like peas and these are so good they really do taste like a Funyun so if you like Funyuns you are gonna love these and one of these bags is two points on the WW green plan so you can have one bag of these for two points and you get a decent amount of snacks in here um, of pitos in here and they are so good. I I literally love them. If you put them in a bowl next to Funyuns and if you eat one of one of these and a Funyun, you will be able to taste a little bit of a difference, but at first I think it'll take you a while for you to be like, "Um, no, these aren't Funyuns." But these are really really good. I really like these. And the next one from Pitos are these Crunchy Curls Zesty Ranch. This is four points per bag, and I did not think I was gonna like these because I'm not a big fan of ranch. And these are so good. They do have like a little tiny, tiny bit of a kick to them, but it's nothing major. And these are really good. The ones that I didn't really like were the cheese flavored ones, the ones that they, I guess, try to like mimic Cheetos. I don't like those. Um, I bought like a sampler pack and it was like a, ba a pack of these, maybe like four bags, four or five bags of these, the onion crunch and then the Cheetos. And I just don't like those. I opened one bag to try them and those are the ones that taste like peas to me. These do not taste like peas, the onion flavor don't taste like peas, but the Cheetos taste like peas. So I personally don't recommend those. You can find these on Amazon or if you go to the Pitos website, you could get them for I think a little bit cheaper than on Amazon. So these I highly recommend. I love these so much. I'm obsessed. And then the next thing that I have are these Hershey's Sugar Free uh, candies you can have one of these for one point and these are really good I don't get like that aftertaste or you know usually with something a sugar free you can taste it but I don't taste that with these I love these so it's definitely good like after lunch I tend to always want something sweet so you know I just go and get one of these and it tastes just like a regular Hershey's with sugar, but it doesn't have sugar. So I love these. I find these at Walmart. I haven't seen these anywhere else but Walmart. Um, the other ones that are really good are these um, Hershey's sugar-free, but they are filled with caramel inside. Oh man, those are so good. But the Walmart was out, so I got these and I like these too. And the next thing that I have are these sugar-free pudding snacks now these are two points per cup but the reason why i like these is i actually like to put some fat-free ready whip on them and just a little bit of graham crackers on top and it is such a good snack idea i actually got this from felicia keithley she posted this one day and i was like okay uh, want and i go I went to walmart and i got the pudding snacks i already had the fat-free ready whip and i got the graham crackers and it is such a good snack and I think the graham crackers I used like a half a teaspoon for zero points the fat free ready whip for zero points so it's a two point snack and it's really really good then next we have some new smart sweet flavors now I have the um, sour melon bites and I have the sweet chews now if you look on Amazon on these the reviews may scare you um, I really, really like these. These are three points per bag. Um, I, I think that they're, I don't, I don't really know what they did, but these do kind of have a lot of carbs in there. 
Now, I know I'm just doing WW and they're three points each, but the carbs are kind of a lot. There are 42 grams of carbs in here, and that's why people are leaving them like such bad reviews. But the, the flavor is good and still only has three grams of sugar. Um, they are really, really chewy and they do get stuck on your teeth. You know, if, if you're someone who doesn't like that, then you're probably not going to like these. But I think the flavor is really good. And it definitely, like, if if you want candy or if you're craving candy, um, these are really good. The Usually with Smart Sweets, whenever they add anything, like, sour in them, I don't like them. Like, I do not like the sour peach rings. I don't know what it is with the type of um, sour powder or whatever it is that they put on the candies. I don't like it. But... Thankfully, these don't really have it. And these are really good. I would repurchase these. I really like these. My favorite smart sweets are the berry fish. Or I think that's what they're called. Um, they're, I'm currently out, so I can't show you the bag. But I think I talked about them in my last WW video. So I will also leave that link for you. So you can also check that one out. I have some really good snacks in there too. But um, I really like these. Okay, now these Smart Chew ones, these are five points per bag, and you do get quite a few in here. There are only three different flavors in here. There's uh, mango, strawberry, and watermelon. Okay, the thing with these, I love the strawberry and the watermelon flavor of these. The mango, however, um, it tastes good at first, but the aftertaste on this is a little bit weird. So I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I do like these, but I tend to only eat the strawberry and the watermelon. And they do look like now and later. They are individually wrapped, so I'm going to open these up. And because I don't tend to eat the whole bag, I just count each piece that I eat. So, um, these are the watermelon, the little pink ones, and then the red ones are the strawberry. And then I have a lot of mango in this bag. But they're not bad. I like them. They are five points. It's just the aftertaste on the mango that I'm just like, oh, I don't really like that. That has a lot of mango in there, but it's fine. I almost let the reviews scare me into not buying them because the reviews are crazy on Amazon. But I was like, let me just try these. And they're not as bad as the reviews make them seem. I like them. Um, yeah, that's that. Okay, next I have these Fiber One Cinnamon Coffee Cakes. My favorite way of eating this is taking this and warming it up in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds and then taking half a cup of Halo Top Vanilla Bean and just putting it right on top with a little bit of fat-free Ready Whip. It's so good. It's so good. It's like my favorite dessert to have. I love it. And it's such a good, like, if you want that, like, ice cream and cake type vibe, this is really good. I love doing that. It's it's just a really good treat, you know, after a long day and you want something sweet to kick back and relax. I, I love doing that. It's so good. So good. Okay, and then next, speaking of Halo Top, we have the best Halo Pop flavor ever. ever. This is the strawberry cheesecake. Now, if you can find this in a little half a pint, oh, you're so lucky. It's really, it's a hard flavor for me to find, but that's because it's so freaking good. So I was able to find the pops and these pops are two points each. And my favorite thing about this ice cream is the little graham cracker. Like, 
it's got like a swirl like this and it's got like a big piece of like graham cracker in there and it's so good it doesn't even taste like a healthy ice cream so you can have one pop for two points and it's so good i eat it slow to enjoy every <laughs> freaking bite it's so good i love halo top um i've tried quite a few different flavors my favorite one is strawberry cheesecake that that is like my all-time favorite and then in second place is vanilla bean that one is so so good and then after that it's the chocolate chip and those are my top three the vanilla bean the chocolate chip but this bad boy right here this is number one this is so good it literally tastes like you're eating a cheesecake on a stick it's so good so good i love it and it's not bad for two points too they're not really big they're like about this about this big but it's it's just enough it's really good and then next i have um one of the alani new protein bars i've also made a video on these talking about these i will also leave this link for you if you want to watch it these are really really good i tend to not like these are these are usually like my go-to dinner i don't really eat like food food for dinner because i don't really get that hungry so i usually gravitate towards like a protein bar or anything like that and these alani new ones are so good because they're also like a treat they they taste nothing like a protein bar they have no protein flavor at all they are really really good they have the majority of them are like white chocolate drizzle white chocolate coating and then they have like a little bit of like drizzle at the top. These are so good. I'm obsessed. They are five points each, but they are filling because they are protein bars. And I love them so much. And I will leave that video linked for you so you can watch my review on these. If you're curious on the different flavors that they have and things like that. So I'll leave that video linked for you to check out. And then next we're down to our final two. So next I have these. Cape Cod chips. I love these chips. So you, these um, per serving is four points, and I think it's like 20 chips for 28 grams. Yeah, you have 28 grams or 20 chips for four points, and these are really good. So my favorite lunch lately has been to make buffalo chicken roll-ups. That that has just been my obsession. So I'll make two buffalo chicken roll-ups. And I'll take some Cape Cod chips, and it is such a perfect lunch. I love it. And that's one thing that I love about WW. Like, I never feel restricted, which is why I've been able to lose weight and maintain the weight off that I've lost. Because it's such a, it's a lifestyle change. And being able to find snacks that you love and can still enjoy has been, like, you know the key to success so i love these um these are really really good it's the cape cod four points per serving the other ones that i like are the poppables um i believe you get 30 of those for five points but those have been out everywhere i haven't been able to find any so i decided to try these and they also have a jalapeno flavor that i've been wanting to try but i can't find it anywhere I love a good jalapeno kettle chip, but these potato ones are really, really good. I really, really love them. My kids like them too, so that's good too. Okay, now, last, the last snack that I have are the Pirate's Booties. <laughs> these have the weirdest name, but these are so good. These are two points per bag. Um, now these vary in points, so if you get the half ounce bags, these are two points, but they also sell um, bigger ones that I think are like one, one ounce, those are four points. And these are really, really good. They taste like Cheeto Puffs, like a white cheddar Cheeto Puff. And I love them. <laughs> They're really good. Uh, like I said, they have a really weird name. But if you love Cheeto Puffs, or if you love anything like cheesy and kind of salty, then you are gonna love these Pirate's Booties. 
Um, I get the big bag like this. And so it comes with 12 bags. And these do last me a while so I don't eat them every day. Um, but these would also be really good with my buffalo chicken roll-ups. I love these. Oh, it's a 12 pack right there. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> but yeah, these are really, really good. I love them. I don't really love the name, but my daughter told me a funny story once. She's in third grade. So this happened last school year when she was in second grade. She said one of her classmates said, okay, I'm gonna eat pirate's booty now. And the teacher was like, we don't use that language in this classroom. And I was like, what? I don't know who invented the name, but you know, they're really good. And they're two points each for the half ounce bag. I uh, love these. My kids also really like these too. So that's good, you know, whenever I can find like a healthier snack to their favorite snacks, that's just an added bonus. But yeah, you guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite snacks because as you can see, I have a snacky mouth and I love to find different snacks and things like that so I can incorporate into my rotation and not really get tired of the same old, same old. But yeah, please don't forget to share that with me down in the comments below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!